Hey, good evening. My name is Dr. Serena Anand Chancellor. Uh, I spent 197 days on board the ISS as flight engineer on expeditions 56 and 57. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions I like to uh, talk about in regards to the space station is the life science research we do on orbit. Many people believe that we do research in space for space, and the reality of it is that 70 to 80 percent of the life science research we do is for medical health here on Earth. So we look at things like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, uh, bone mineral density loss, cancer chemotherapy, you name it. The stuff that we do the majority of the time on ISS um, is for your health down here on Earth. And so I love to talk about it, especially to my patients. I am a practicing physician, and they love to hear about it. Um, and Peg, so one of the questions I wanted to ask you was, what, what was one of the most surprising results you saw um, from some of the experiments you did on board ISS? I remember one in particular because it was a mistake I made. <laughs> it was really interesting. Colloidal suspension of iron that in an electromagnetic field would form a solid, go from liquid to a solid. And uh, I mistakenly put in uh, 2.0 uh, hertz frequency instead of the 20 that the investigators had asked for on the ground. And instead of the solid they were expecting, we got this moving waveform pattern and they hadn't seen it on the ground. And, and I, there's so many things microgravity gives you that are different. It, it takes away so many of the variables that we have here on, on the ground. What was, what was your favorite experiment? So we were looking at endothelial cells, which are the um, cells that line the blood vessels in our body. And because these cells seem to grow so much better in space, because I, I really believe they think they're in the body, they grow better 3D structure and, and better function. And so that allowed the researchers to test their chemotherapy agents against these cells. So we were testing agents against cancer or a tumor's blood supply to be more specific. And the researchers were excited because it gave them so much more opportunity to do that on board the space station. Now, Peg, I know you worked on a bunch of stem cell experiments while you were up there as well. What did you think about that? Oh, that was one of the most fun things. And actually, we, we were growing mesenchymal stem cells. Um, but what we found is the stem cells actually grow even faster. So it's something that we could do in orbit that we can do better than here on the ground. And that can have future manufacturing applications for us. And they, those can, cells can provide therapies here on the ground, cell therapies for people with various different types of diseases. For instance, uh, Parkinson's or multiple sclerosis. These are some examples of one of the specific experiments that I know that the folks are interested in looking at. Yeah, and the cooler thing about that too is as we are able to grow better cells in orbit, then you think about growing even higher ordered structures like organoids. So the way I look at it is the better the structure, the better the function. The more these cells uh, grow just like they do in the body, then they function just like they do in the body. And so that may give us the opportunity in the future on board the station to test uh, drugs, to test toxicities without actually having to test people. Um, because you know nothing is worse than having to test um, drugs with unknown side effects. Uh, on patients, and so if we can do that in a, a facility that is safe and keeps people out of the equation, then that's just better all around. So the cool thing about stem cells is really thinking about where we're headed in the future. And uh, I think folks really hadn't considered the space station as a place where we may create some of these things and actually bring them back down to Earth. But I think we're closer to that than everybody thinks. I absolutely agree with you, Serena. I, I really do see that there's gonna be some huge payoffs for the research that can come from doing this stem cell work. So I'm, I'm really excited about our future and I hope everyone is because I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun.